During our reign as king, we have amassed many items. Unfortunately, these resources are unorganized and strewn across the kingdom. Today begins construction of our super fast, self-sorting AI powered warehouse. Once complete, we will become even more powerful on the legacy SMP server. To all the geeks and nerds out there, welcome back to another episode on the legacy SMP server. We're doing a quick fly past of the witch farm that we built last episode. And that is because in between episodes, I have been doing a lot of AFK and trying to gather as much redstone as possible. Now, I also checked uh, the comments from last episode and there was a bunch of people let me know about a mechanic in the game that I didn't know about. And uh, we've made that change to this farm. It's very quick and easy, and that has really increased the rates. Now, we'll talk a bit about that what, in a minute, about what it is, how it, how it works, and all that kind of stuff, what the, what the, what the new rates are. But yeah, we have uh, been AFK to get as much redstone as possible because today we are finally, finally going to be organizing our gear. We are going to be building a storage system, fully automated sorting, uh, sorting system, all that kind of good stuff. So we're going to have a, an input chest where we can just chuck all of our items, shulker boxes, whatnot, and it's going to automatically sort it. And yeah, it's going to be super cool. So if you want to see how that works, then stick around. And here comes the next batch. And as you can hear, hear the cackling. There's quite a few here already. In fact, so many that when these ones come in, they take entity cramming damage. <laughs> so let's uh, let's put them out of their misery. Let's uh, get rid of all those witches. There we go. A couple of swipes and they are gone. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> but they keep coming. All right, so let's uh, let's see what we've been up to. So uh, let's have a look at uh, how much stuff we've got since last episode. We've got, uh, obviously this chest is full up. In fact, all the chests, all the way up to the very top are all full up. <laughs> so our redstone is full up there. Now I've also been doing some crafting. Check this out. We've got all of this as well. <laughs> Yes, so our redstone problems are over, which is fantastic. So basically all of this is all totally full up. Now, uh, you might look at my levels and think, what happened? Because obviously killing all these witches, we get all the XP. I've only got 29 levels. That's because... Um, I jumped down there to turn off the farm and then you know to 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 log out because you have to make sure you do that otherwise the flying machines can get stuck and I managed to not engage my elytra and I splatted on, <laughs> right on top of the roof there so that wasn't too smart but the good news is uh, it's all working and we are getting witches now let's talk about the change we made so uh, yeah as I said in last episode we've got some comments from people telling me how I could improve that farm and let's see let's look at the rates first of all so at the end of last episode this this was the rates that we were getting almost 5,000 items per hour. So I tested that in a creative world, I tick walked it and uh, yeah, used, used carpet mod uh, to check the rate. So that's what I was getting. And over here with the new change, we're now getting almost 7,000 items. So 6,750 items per hour with one simple change. So what is that change? Now you might've seen it in the repo footage at the beginning, but let me just hop down here. It's a really, really simple change and it has a big, big impact. So look at that. Magma blocks. That is the secret. <laughs> so what happens? Well, the witches, in fact, we'll see them right here. They come along here and around this area. There we go. They start taking a bit of damage. Now, what that will do is that will stop them despawning because that's the that's the major flaw with this with this farm is that because the witches spawn here and it takes a long time for them to obviously fall down here, come up there, come along here and then shoot up there before they're within range of the player where they don't despawn any longer. Um, they can actually despawn. And uh, that was the main the main problem. But having them take a bit of damage means that they won't despawn so quickly and and the majority of them make it up to the top. We still get some despawning, uh, but yeah. So I did some experiments. I put it, I put the mango blocks here, and I also put some uh, down here as well. But it turns out that uh, even if you put them down here, they still despawn you know, by the time they get to the top because uh, I think they drink a fire resistance potion or whatnot, so they don't take damage here. So I took away those ones, just left these ones, and that has, uh, yeah, really improved the rates. Now, Technically, I think I can get rid of some of these because they only take damage around this area. So you could probably get away with having just one magma, one magma block just here where the water is lowest because I think they sink down in the water a little bit. But uh, yeah, I'll put them all down there for testing and yeah, might as well leave it there. But that is it. So it's all working. It's uh, all, all going good. So I'm going to turn this off now and we need to gather some resources and do a lot of crafting <laughs> because um, the system I'm going to build is going to need a lot of observers and comparators and droppers and whatnot and a lot of chests as well. So I'm gonna, yeah, make sure this is all turned off properly, get, get ourselves back to the castle and, you know, start crafting up all the stuff we need. We have a visitor. He's been helping me <laughs> trying to get all these items ready. So here are a couple of shulker boxes. Look at all this. I've uh, crafted up all of this. 
and uh, a few droppers as well. So over here, this has taken up a lot of wood, as you can imagine. Now, I did have some wood uh, in my stocks, but not enough for all of this. So uh, what I did was I asked Whip if I could use his tree farm, and I went over, I brought some saplings over, brought a whole bunch of my own um, my own uh, bone mill, and yeah, used to use his farm for a bit to get all the wood we need, because that is a lot of chests. And of course, all these hoppers as well, they all need chests as well, and they take up a lot of wood. So thanks for Whip for letting me use his, uh, his tree farm. So that's all good. Now I need to continue uh, to get uh, yeah more items so the next thing we need to do is i've got some bits here we need a whole bunch of comparators so i'm going to need uh two stacks of comparators i think it is but luckily uh now with the now with the witch farm we've got all of the sticks and all the redstone we need so yes yeah, it's a case of uh, yeah keep crafting this stuff up so i've got a whole bunch more stuff to do so i'm going to keep doing this it's going to take me a couple of hours probably but once i've got all the stuff we can go over to the build site and yeah start building this thing up A storage room needs a lot of chests and we have a lot of chests <laughs> so as you can see i have made a start so we're over here at the gold farm this is going to be our floor of our storage room and here is the entrance we're going to come in here and there's going to be basically four walls covered in chests <laughs> to store all the stuff we need now this is going to be i think i mentioned earlier this is going to be a, a automatically sorted system so we'll put items in in fact we're going to put them in over here this is going to be the input chest right here I've also named the chest input so i don't get confused Put all the stuff in here, either shulker boxes or just loose items, whatever. It goes in here and then it's going to go into a system that's going to take it all the way around and put it into the correct the correct silo. Now this is going to be a multi-item sorter. So each one of these is going to, you're going to be able to program each uh, each column with what items go in it. And if it matches, it will go in. And if not, it will go to the next one, try and go in. And then all the way around until we get to the other side around here. So over here, we're going to have uh, some chests here for no matches. So if I haven't configured a chest for an item, it'll end up in here. So we'll we'll easily be able to take items from here and then stick them into the, uh, the sorting system and then over here is a whole bunch of chests for overflow so just in case any of these silos get filled up so we keep an eye on those as well and any, any shulker boxes that we put in the system will end up coming out and uh, be placed in this column right here so that's all cool and these chests over here these ones are just going to be for general storage uh, these are just for manual storage over here uh, all the the three sides though this side this side and this side they're going to be automatically sorted so the system i think can be if uh, if you want to it can be configured to sort 1620 different items now that's more items than there are in the game so we should be good <laughs> so yeah i think there's uh just there's a bit over 700 items i think currently something like that i don't know exactly but it's over 700 so we are good in that front so i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to continue adding all the chests all the way around so they're all done and then i think we'll start i guess at the beginning with the input so we'll add a little system here uh, to get uh, items into the system and they're basically got to be taken up to the top and then go through a whole bunch of redstone over there so i think uh, we'll do that also gonna have a trash can right here so this is going to be i've named it trash of course and this is a trap chest so you can put items in nothing what happened to them until you know you close it just to make sure and then we can have a hopper, hopper underneath and yeah put those uh yeah put those in the trash we'll delete those items so hopefully that makes sense i'm a little bit worried that these two are right next to each other i can easily put the wrong thing in the wrong box but um we'll see <laughs> We'll see how it goes. All right, so let me get more, get me more, go, get some more chests, and yeah, get placing, and then we can build the input system. Some work has been done. The input system is ready, and yeah, we can give it a test. So here we can have an item elevator that goes all the way up there, and then we have this kind of buffer chest up here. So items will end up in there, and then from that point, they'll then go into uh, the redstone that's going to be all the way up here that sorts all the items. And I've also wired up the trash, the trash can. So we'll, we'll we'll check that out in a second. So let's test this thing first of all. So we've got our input here. So we can put sugar boxes in here or normal items. So let's just put in uh, a normal item. So six sticks, and that should go into this. So this is a sugar box uh, unloader. This is the same thing we use for our our, um, our smelter array. Uh, it takes individual items as well as shulker boxes and then it goes from here this this kind of module that's here then it goes into this here which is just an item elevator it takes them all the way up there so let's have a look we should have hopefully if this has worked we should have six sticks in this chest oh yes okay good news so that is working so that's the input system 
Um, I won't bother with testing it with a chocolate box just yet, but uh, yeah, we can do that later on. So as you can see here, all the chests have been placed all the way around the outside and I've put hoppers along the back of all of them, as you can see. So they're all, all ready to go, all ready to receive items. And we've got a little problem with the gold, <laughs> the gold farm, because um, obviously I've taken, I've taken down the previous storage uh, for that because it was in the way. Um, but yeah, items are mounting up, obviously, as I'm here building up. So I think the next thing we're going to do is uh, get those things to go over into one of these chests over here and get the gold stored. We're going to have an item filter here, so we're just going to store the gold, not going to worry about uh, anything else, uh, the, the uh, rotten flesh or anything like that 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 is all good so let's go down here and the other thing i've done is wide up the trash can so that's that chest right there so underneath uh, over here pretty straightforward we've got uh, that's the chest there it goes into this hopper into this dropper and then this is just a, well, the, a normal a standard smart dropper so if there's any items here they'll spit out into here so i'm in two mines originally i was thinking about putting some lava in here so items just get deleted straight away but now i'm thinking maybe i'll just let them despawn so just in case I do put anything in there by mistake, I can always come back here and retrieve it. You know, as long as I remember within five minutes uh, and then yeah, just wait for it to despawn. So we'll see how that goes. I might put lava in there, but I think for the moment I'm going to leave it empty just in case I make a mistake. You know, sometimes people derp <laughs> and I do a lot of derps. So, so that's that. So I think, yeah, let's do, let's get the gold sorted out, the gold situation sorted out next. And then once we've done that, then we can start working on the redstone over here. Yeah, and I'll show you how that works. The redstone monstrosity has begun. <laughs> Look at this. So you can still see my uh, my scaffolding, my uh, you know my my pro scaffolding, uh, the nether, nether rack there, and this is just the first two modules. So this is a design by Rapscallion and also a few other people uh, as well. I think Samuel the Sage had something to do with this as well. But uh, there'll be a link in the description to this uh, sorter, this uh, storage system uh, in the description. So go and check out the video. Uh, there's also another video that links off of that. That's a tutorial. And um, so yeah, go and check that out. All the authors are credited uh, credited there. But that's on Rapscallion channel and i should also mention that the uh, the uh, shocker box unloader we've got here that's the same one we used in our smelter and that's by samos the sage i'll put a link to the description uh, for that as well all right so this uh, this module so we've got a few things to talk about i guess so we've got a little module over there which is a item defragmenter we'll come to that in a minute and then every two blocks here we've got uh, we've got a different module now these are are, are different uh, because they can't be told together so there's like an a version then a b version then you do the a version again then the b version again and then it tiles across like that and they are too wide so that's why we've got our chests uh, like this so First of all, let's do a test. So up there, we've got some chests. That's where you program in what items go into uh, into that column. So actually, let's go up there and I'll show you uh, how you do this. There we go. Oh, no, not a pro landing. Let's try again. No. Okay, I finally made it up. So here are the double chests. So this one here, the first one, we've got uh, two items of wh whichever item you want to go into this into this column. So we can fill this up with all sorts of different items. Uh, you, you must have put you must put two of them in there, and then all the other other all the other spaces we fill up uh, with these uh, these uh, these uh, bars that I've got here renamed as blocker. So I've put them in there. So yeah, we can just add as many items as we want here. So if this was going to be our redstone column, we'd add all sorts of repeaters and hoppers and whatever else uh, in here. And you do that for each for each uh, each slice if you like. So over here, I've not put anything in here. So nothing should go into this one. So now what I want to do is I want to do a quick test and see what happens. And then I'll talk about the uh, about the uh, the item defragmenter in a second. So we go to our input. Let's put in one redstone and let's put in um, uh, a bit of concrete as well. So as you can see, because this is a trap chest, it won't do anything until we close the trap chest. And then we should see if we look up here. So we can hear some pistons going. So those two observers will start lighting up soon. There they go. So that means they're processing items. All right, so now if this has worked in this chest, we should have a redstone. We do. That's good stuff. And in this one, we should have nothing. That is good. So that means that's working. And the question is, where has the concrete gone? Well, that's gone uh, to the hopper that leads to the next segment, which is this hopper right here. There we go. All right. Awesome. So that is working. Now, building this is a little bit painful. There's lots of, especially observers that are facing upwards. Um, yeah, so I think I need to just study this a little bit more to try and get a good pattern. I think what, with these kind of things, once you've got a good pattern down, you can lay down a whole bunch of blocks um, and it should be easier to build like in bulk. Um, but yeah, but building these first two was a little bit painful. Um, also, what we've done is we've got, uh, as you can see here, we've got the we've got the gold situation sorted out. So uh, the items come up here, go through this, through this water stream. There's a there's a um, an item filter over there, and in here we're getting the gold. So that's what we've got so far uh, as I've been building that module up there. Now the other thing up here. As I said earlier, is an item defragmenter. So basically, what that is, um, you should probably go and check out Rapscallion's video for a full uh, explanation about that kind of stuff. But basically, what happens here is that this 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 uh, sorting system runs at 
hopper speed or just or just about hopper speed and what this uh, what this uh, circuit here does is it will uh, it will if you put in a mixture of items it will just make sure one item goes through at a time because this can run at hopper speed as long as the same items going through and then once that items run, uh, finished going through then it will switch to another item and then that'll go through so that makes this uh, run as quick as possible so that's what that's all about but if you want more details yeah as i said check out the, the links in the description to rapscallion and uh yeah check it out there so i think the next thing now is just to build this up all the way around here so i think i've got i've got another 28 to build done to 28 to go uh, i'm not sure how how, how much of this i'm going to get done because it ta does take a bit of time but yeah i think um that's the next thing to do and then it's the it's the the task then of programming all of the silos to uh, to hold all the items we want so all right let's get on with it shall we it's time for a few updates, but before I do that, let me just say that uh, if you watch how I build up this storage system, this is definitely the way to do it, um, starting from the top, because uh, there's definitely some observers that, that face upwards. So trying to find a good pattern for these kind of builds uh, is uh, really helpful. So you can see I'm kind of trying to do a whole bunch together, and that is that is really good. So if you want to build this kind of contraption, then this this is uh, really how to do it. Try and do it you know, layer by layer in stages, try and, try and get a good, uh, a good flow going. And then it's not too bad, actually. It's not too bad. But anyway, in terms of some updates, so first of all, Project 100,000 subscribers. <laughs> we mentioned it for a few episodes, but uh, I wanted to remind everyone that if you want to help me out and you're enjoying these videos, then consider hitting that subscribe button. Um, I know lots of YouTubers say that, but I'm, I'm really keen uh, to try and get to 100,000 by the end of the year. Get that silver play button, and I can only do that with your help. So if you want to help me out, then think about subscribing. And I have had a few messages from people that said they thought they were subscribed, but actually weren't. So it's worth double checking and just make sure. Now on the legacy front, a couple of updates here. So I can't give you details just yet, but um, I can tell you that we are we, we are meeting every week now. We're having weekly meetings, and we're starting to solidify the plans. We've got a rough timeline. We've got some we've got some pretty good uh, ideas of what we're actually going to be doing. And yeah, we are also, we are also starting to talk to people that we might want to invite to the server. So as expected, some people are you know too busy with other commitments, and some people have you know say they're interested, and we're still talking to other people too. So um, things are in the works. Things are happening. So I guess um, once we've got some details, we can actually share then obviously I'll share them as soon as possible. Um, I don't want to spoil anything just yet, but just to know that uh, we are still talking, we're still planning, things are happening. So you just got to stick with us uh, for a little while longer and all will be revealed in good time. Uh, but yeah, we don't want to rush it. We want it to be good. So hopefully uh, you enjoyed this build and let's get back to it. And there it is. The storage monstrosity is complete. Loads of redstone, loads of all sorts of components. And yeah, it's now it's now done. And there we go, we're inside the storage room. Obviously we need to do some decorating. Um, I've got some ideas about uh, around that. So I think I'm probably gonna do like a quartz trim around here. We've got plenty of quartz now uh, from our masons and whatnot. So we can put that around and hide a lot of this, uh, a lot of this gubbins. Uh, but we do need access to the top because those chests there, that's where we program each of the, uh, each of the columns, as, as I said before. So the next job now is to actually do that, is to try and put in um, some items into some of these and actually give a, have a proper test. Because at the moment I've uh, just filled all of these chests chests with uh, just just a, a kind of placeholder a placeholder block oh and i can't land let's try that again i finally managed to land so let's look at these chests so inside here this is what we've got so we've got these iron bars all named blocker so we just have to fill these fill this up with this and then obviously as i said before put in the items we need so all of these chests have got these uh, got these iron bars in so you can see every single one because that takes a lot of renaming a lot of levels that's why i've got to one level i've been uh, back to the enderman farm a few times to get enough levels because we've got to do this for all of those chests all the double chests around here and also the hopper underneath underneath here i don't know if i can get to this one maybe the hopper underneath this one also has all of these renamed items but they've got renamed be, re be renamed differently they've got to be different items in here so that's the same for all of the hoppers under all those chests as well so a lot of special items but it should be in theory working so i think what i'd like to do is i want to well I want to get rid of all of these chests, <laughs> all of these, and also all the chests we've got in the castle because uh, it's frankly a mess. Now these ones over here, we've got lots of odds, odd and odds and odds and bits and pieces here. Um, a lot of this stuff though is kind of uh, stones and the terracotta we dug up from the uh, gold farm. So we've got a lot of that stuff. So I think this kind of thing, I'm probably going to put in shulker boxes and I'm going to store them in shulker boxes. And in that case, I'm just going to manually put the shulker box inside the inside here in, in its right place. Because once once items come in here, you can add or remove items in here. It doesn't doesn't affect the sorting system above in any way. So we can store our shulker boxes in here manually. That would be easy enough. And I think what I'll use the automatic sorting for is once I finish the project, I normally have 
you know, sort of five or six uh, shulker boxes full of all sorts of bits and pieces. And then obviously bits and pieces in my inventory, I'll just chuck all of those in there. They'll get sorted. And any uh, shulker boxes that have just got one item in, I'll just manually place them in the right in the right uh, chest. So that's the plan. So I think I'm going to go over to the castle, grab some bits and pieces, and then we can give this a full test. I think we're ready for the big test. So what I've done here is I've uh, added some blocks underneath here, underneath each of the columns to represent the kind of blocks that are going to be uh, in this in, in this kind of silo. So here we've got uh, stone blocks, so obviously there's nothing in there at the moment. And here we've got like dirt and and uh, and sand. So if we go up to the top, I can show you uh, the kind of thing that we're talking about. So if I just scoot in here, there we go. And if we can look down straight from here, here you can see, open this up. Here we've got two of all the items that are currently uh, programmed for this uh, yeah for this this column obviously we can add more as we go so yeah this is just the starting the starting place uh, if you like and over here i've got four shocker boxes with various bits and pieces so we've got a whole bunch of purpose stuff end stuff because uh, i've i've done that for this one over here so hopefully we should see stuff in there and yeah got another one over here so that that one i'm just going to put straight in that's a just one with gravel here's a whole bunch of different stuff so i think i've programmed all of that somewhere I've got some ores uh, programmed over there so hopefully this should work. So now it's a case of grabbing all of these and putting them into the system and see what happens. Hopefully it's going to be all right. So let's, that one I'm going to do manually. So we'll put uh, that one in, that one in, and that one in, and then all of this stuff I'm going to put in as well. Hopefully it's going to be good. Okay. We can hear noises. Okay, that's good. And hopefully we should see some flashing lights. Okay. It's working let's see how it does so far so good it looks like it's coming in looks like it's working okay i think we're gonna have to just wait around now just for this whole thing to finish up but yeah so far the signs are good the lights have stopped flashing that means it is finished it is done let's see how well it did so let's look at these uh let's look at these okay good yeah there we go all stone stuff in there that's correct there we go that is all correct as well based on the best new items i've put in there we got, yeah, so we've got um, all the uh, uh, andesite and diorite and also the granite all in there with their polish variants as well. That's all worked out. Blackstone, all the different blackstone stuff. I also put uh, basalt in there as well. So that is all cool. So we've got this one. Yep, the ores are looking good. And the end one over here, let's have a look. Yes, okay, that is looking good. Now, the other test is we've got these two uh, over here. So overflow should be empty. Okay, that's good. And this one should just have our shulker boxes. Oh, we've got some extra things. Polished blackstone. Okay, maybe I didn't put them in. Glass, I didn't do anything with those, so that's correct actually. And these end brick stairs. Okay, let's let's make sure they're in the right place. Here is the blackstone chest, and as you can see, well, it's quite hard to see actually, but there isn't any polished uh, blackstone in here. So that's one that I missed, so that's correct. That should be in there now. And let's check out the end one as well. And here is the end chest, and as you can see, I didn't put in the stairs here, so that's why they, they got missed. But that's good. That means the system is working very happy with that indeed now we need to do some decorating we'll do that next time and of course i need to actually put all of my items through the system and configure them all so everything gets sorted but that is a great success at last we can get organized so there we have it the end of the episode as we fly into the sunset i hope you enjoyed it and if you did then please hit the like button and if you are new then feel free to subscribe and for any comments or suggestions then get in that comment section all right my geeks till next time i will see you later